We are with Morgan and Abe, and um, yesterday you saw the giraffe. Morgan was still working on the giraffe, and she was standing on that scaffolding. You can see the scaffolding completely gone. All the forms are off, and the giraffe is almost complete. You also see the leaves underneath the giraffe because that has to be supported by something. Um, I look at this piece, and I see the elephant and the giraffe, and Abe's working on another element in the middle, of a little chi child. Um, and it looks so sweet and, and, and loving and caring. And then you look over here and you see these two monkeys. And uh, you can use your imagination, but I, there's something fun going on here. Looks like the monkey has something in his hand that he's going to be throwing at something. Um, we did talk about Morgan and Abe, what a sense of humor they had. And uh, they always have so much fun with a piece. You'll also notice that there's a huge hunk sand pounded up over here that is going to be something at some point and that also will tie into the whole story so we'll uh check back with them in a little bit and see what else they have going on all right we're with um steve and deb and they've come a long way since yesterday and i did take a guess a stab at what i thought this might be uh turning into the first day and it looks like i might be correct as far as the composition of it. There's a story I'm sure behind that I can't wait to hear what it is. And I say that because we've got fruits and vegetables and then we have a frog and a policeman. Um, I, I still think it has something to do with color, but um, I'm, I'm guessing the policeman, the blue and the frog, the green, but we'll probably get, we will get clarification on that later. But I can see that Steve is now doing the thumb um, that's going through the palette and you can see a sketch right here. This is uh, Stephen Deb's reference right there, the hand holding the painter's palette. I'm with the Davids now. The Davids, yes. And uh, this is really interesting. I love the movement and the flow of this pattern right in here. There's just something so pleasing to me about that. And remember I talked about committing yourself to something. Once they started that pattern and that detail and that technique on the top, they're committed to it and working all the way down, which uh, takes a lot of time, um, can get a little monotonous after a while, but it's uh, obviously it's very effective. You can also see over in here, this is all cut out down inside there and that's time. It takes a lot of time to get in there and get all that sand out of there. Uh, it's coming along really nice, really beautiful, and I'm, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing this completed. Uh, Ongoron, can I ask you, just you keep working, go ahead and keep working. Sure. Um, is there anything that you would like to share at this point about, um, uh, like maybe an explanation of your piece? It's very intriguing to me, yeah. and I would like to know what's going on in your, the David's heads right now. Well, we thought it was boring to cover 360 degree sculpture, so we decided to make it like double. We cover the inside and the outside, just to make more work, because we like working, we are work Oh, holics. Yeah, it's not hard enough work as it is. You're yes. doubling your work. Doubling and, and it's true. What he's saying is he now has to carve the inside and outside of all these elements because that uh, will be part of the final judging, the quality of the carving and how well they finish it. Thank you, Ongarun. You're welcome. I have three words to describe this sculpture. Amazing. How do you like that? Is that three words, Dan? I don't know, but I love it. Thank you. <laughs> this is amazing. I mean, Unless you're a sand sculptor, you have no idea how difficult it is to line up all these elements. I took a stab in the dark yesterday, Dan, and guessed that it was a frog. I mean, you didn't have any of these elements on here. None of the, you know, the... The, the design? The design, yeah. yeah. The graphic? And uh, it's just, it's amazing. I mean, wh oh. what, what would you like to share well. with <laughs> Well, thank you. I just I, I have to say that I have a, a, an amazing partner, and we collaborated only days before the contest. We had some things we had kicked around. We thought we wanted something that was kind of an illusion. You know, had yeah. two different two different uh, visuals to it, both a sculpture and then a, uh, an imprint upon it, so that you could see two different things. It reminds me of, and I'm I'm looking at your sketch here, and that's what I are these people, or yes. is that an actual frog? Yeah, this is actual. This is an art art uh, piece of art, um, and we have to give credit to the artist, but we were inspired by this. They, um, it is composed of five people, five actual human, uh, human figures that were painted to look like a frog. And then once you line everything up, it looks like a frog. So, so you took the art of body painting and turned it into sculpting. Well, yeah, and the, 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 the thing is, is we don't have the benefit of color. So it's very, right. it's a, it's a, it's right. more of a struggle yep. to try to get it just in 
shade and shadow yeah. Yeah. and so um, you know it may be a little more impressionistic than we'd like but um, in the end we'll, we'll, just, we'll you know it's we're trying something different well it's working for me I hope it's working for everybody else well thank you Meredith we truly appreciate it great job thank you Okay, we're with Paul and Remy, and um, as you can probably hear behind me, the festival is in full swing. You can hear the music, and they got the, um, they picked their plots, pick it out of a hat, and they got plot number 15, which is closest to the music. So they're going to be entertained for the next couple of days, and I'm going to be speaking loudly whenever I'm doing their critique. Um, this has come a long way since yesterday. It's so pleasing. Look at the, the, the figure here is so beautiful, the flow of the hair, the braid. Look at the detail detail on the head feature and you can see that she's going to be holding an owl and this is a very personal story to them I heard Paul giving an interview and it's all about the owl and um, you'll be able to read that in the Boston Globe either tomorrow or Sunday morning but we are going to be interviewing the sculptors as well and you'll be able to tell they'll be able to tell you the stories behind their sculptures